The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I'm gonna show a lot of love because it's been, it's been like three years since I made a video about about, about this fighter. So, you 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 can call, you can consider it a follow up video to my prospect review video from a couple years ago. But I wanted to talk about Johnny Beck Alun Kali because nobody's giving Johnny Beck Alun Kali no love. Nobody's talking about him in the middleweight division. Nobody, no, nobody, nobody's really giving him the respect that he deserves. Now, Johnny Beck Alun Kali, for those of you who don't know, he's a very high-ranked uh, middleweight contender. He, he's currently ranked um, number two in the WBO. So he's a guy that, if you're looking at potential Demetrius Andrade opponents and guys he could fight, you know. He should be on that list. You know, very, very good fighter, Johnny Beck Um And the way I look at Johnny Beck Um I, I look at him as somebody that, as far as I'm concerned, he's he's the dark horse of the middleweight division. He is the absolute dark horse of the middleweight division. Because, you know, you look at him, right? You look at him as an amateur, very, very highly decorated. You know, he's he's been trained and molded under the very watchful eye of the great Buddy McGirt. Buddy McGirt's got him boxing very, very well. You know, um, Johnny Beck recently, in, in his most recent outing, he fought Rob Brandt. And, and Rob Brandt, you know, former former world champion, a guy that's, you know, went in there and beat the likes of Ryota Murata. You know, a guy that, that, that that's a solid fighter, you know, a, sol a solid fighter in the in the 160-pound division. And he went in there and he absolutely put on a boxing masterclass and dismantled him from round one to until he stopped the fight. He absolutely dismantled Johnny Beck, uh, um, uh, Rob Brandt. You know, Rob Brandt has lost some fights before. You know, we've seen Rob Brandt lose to Jurgen Bramer. We've seen Rob Brandt um, lose to Murata in a rematch. But I would say that that was probably the most decisive loss of his career. Um, because, you know, it wasn't in a rematch. I, Murata knocked him out in the rematch. But, like, that, he had to fight him twice to get that result. Johnny Beck went in there one time and just, you know, you saw Johnny Beck, Alan Coley, Alan Coley using that long, strong, you know, really good educated jab. You saw him controlling the center of the ring. You saw him um, just have his way. When he wanted to be the boxer, he was a boxer. When he wanted to be the slugger, he was a slugger. When he wanted to fight, he wanted to, uh, he fought. And he did well in all three of those scenarios. So I'm looking at him, right? Everybody in the one, everybody's talking about everybody in, in boxing, right? And I, and I listen to a lot of people talk about boxing online on Twitter, on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and I and I always hear this chatter about the 160 pound division. I always hear the name. I always hear stuff about Jamal Chala. I always hear about obviously Dimitri Sandra. I hear about Golovkin. I hear about Murata. Even Chris Eubank, Mongia, you know Lara. But this guy right here, this man right here from Kazakhstan, this Kazakhstan warrior, Johnny Beck Amukoli, he's someone that has to be accounted for. He he's someone that. You know, let's just say, right, if Demetrius Andrade, right now he's, he's ranked number two in the WBO. If Demetrius Andrade decides tomorrow or today or whenever that he wants to vacate his WBO title, okay, and he, he's, he's, moving up, he's moving up to 168 to chase bigger fights, bigger money fights, and that, and that belt becomes vacant. I really think, you know, like if WBO decided to order the number one versus number two, so they, if they ordered Jaime Munguia versus Johnny Beck, Alan Coley, I'm telling you straight away, Right here, right now on True School Sports. If Johnny Beck, Alan Coley were to fight Jaime Munguia for the WBO title, Johnny Beck, Alan Coley is going to outbox Jaime Munguia for the WBO title. Um, and I and I truly believe if that if that, if that fight does become, if that becomes a fight that is a possibility, I believe Global Way Promotions will not will try their best to maneuver Jaime Munguia away from Johnny Beck, Alan Coley because that's. That's how good of a technical fighter he is. He's a very good technical fighter. He's not. He's, he's throwing grown man punches. He's going there to put your lights out. And he just dismantled a former world champion in Rob Brandt. So he's not someone that's going to be easy out for anybody in this weight class. Um, I would like to see him fight one of the champions, whether it be Golovkin, whether it be Boo Boo Andre, which is obviously the most realistic. You know, um, Jamal Charlo, Murata, whoever, Lara, you know, anybody. And, and, I, and I think he will hold his own and beat a lot of these guys. You know, he, he, he's being overlooked. Nobody's talking about him. Nobody's giving him a chance. Nobody even knows who he is really um, much in boxing except for people that are really, 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 really up on their boxing. But I know and I have known for many years who Johnny Alan Coley is. And it's been great to see since that prospect review video. It's been great to see his growth as a fighter, his maturation. And, 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 I, and I still feel like 
he's gonna get better as a fighter. So yeah, man, that's 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 my video. That that's my thoughts on Johnny Beck, Alan Coley. You know, the dark horse of the middleweight division. Someone that I really think in the next eighteen to twenty four months is gonna uh, be involved in a world title fight. And uh, as long as he's not fighting Demetrius Andre, I, I, I think he'll be a world champion. But if he fights Demetrius Andre, then I'm, I'm I, I, I think it'll be difficult for him. But even even against Bubu Andre, I feel like that'd be a good fight, and I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly write him off. He's got he's a, he's a very good boxer, very good boxer, Johnny Vic Allen Coley. So if you haven't checked him out, go check him out. He is the dark horse. I'm crowning him the dark horse of the middleweight division and a potential world champion. So uh, leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.